I was asking him little trivial questions at first to get him talking to me. So uneasy. Not very comfortable with the camera, was he? Or the lights. This is the only evidence of him that I can think of, besides some photographs here and there. I suppose I should be proud to have done this, but looking over it again just makes me sad. I think of the extinct castrato voice, and I think of him. I wish others could have heard it. I wish it could have been preserved, but it wasn't. He died. <laughs> His voice didn't have the range of most sopranos. I suppose that's why he was never offered a recording. But his voice was of a much higher quality than Mureshi. It was crystal clear and full of confidence, which I must admit was severely lacking in other castrati. <laughs> Oh God, what a temper he had. When I mentioned his rival, Mureshi, what a mistake that was. Well, you can see it there, can't you? The rage. He was jealous that Mureshi was to be recorded. He's calling Mureshi names now. Names in German and Italian and Dutch, every name he knows. His voice gets very high when he's like that. Mureshi is merely an imperfect man, a slave to the Pope, he said, I remember. To sing is my life, to sing is my life, or something like that. I'm just trying to read his lips and remember now. My body and soul, how dramatic. I suppose that's why he was so popular. It certainly wasn't his kindness. Quite an unpleasant person, really, except when he sang. Oh. 